so I'm not very good at introductions anymore it seems so I'm not going to do a massive introduction to this video but I just want to say for any single person that's watching this thank you for clicking on this video thank you for your endless amount of support I can't express to you how much you've saved me like genuinely you've actually saved my life I can't express that enough to you and I just want to say thank you for your ongoing support over the last couple of weeks. It has been overwhelming and genuinely I don't feel like I deserve any of it but I'm grateful for it at the same time. And just before we quickly get into this video I did donate all of the proceeds from the last video AdSense to the Mind charity and I am doing the same for the AdSense on this video but I just also wanted to quickly say because this is Mental Health Awareness Week and it's also Mental Health Awareness Month, I actually have some old merch that I'm wearing right now and I am going to be putting it online and selling these hoodies. I'll show you the hoodies in a second. Um, I'm not going to talk about it too much, but I am going to be donating all the proceeds from the sales of the hoodie to Mind Mental Health Charity because I want to do everything I can. It's old merch that I hadn't got out of the garage and I've had it there for so long, so I just wanted to get it out. This one says, you know, and on the back it says, if you don't know, get to know. And then the red hoodie says can't deal on the back of it those are the two hoodies i'm gonna be putting on sale honestly i understand it's such a difficult climate at the moment so please do not think anyone has to go and buy any of those hoodies it's just i had them in the garage and i thought i want to do something i can i want to give back as much as i can to mental health charities that help everyone across the uk and i just want to do as much as i possibly can to give back to everyone else so the hoodies are going to be on sale for 15 pounds um they're nice hoodies they're gildan hoodies yeah anyway stop talking about that so um time to move on this video is basically a little update of where i'm at with my mental health and also as the title suggests it is time for me to move on from this it's time for me to start healing it's time for me to start the process of getting better and over the last week i've definitely taken different steps into getting better with my mental health after everything that's happened i have started with a therapist twice a week and i've also got a life coach I'm not going to say that it's miraculously changed my life right now, but I do feel like I'm in a little better place than I was last week. Last week I went to some really dark depths and I was in a very, very bad place and if I didn't have you guys messaging me and if I didn't have my husband and the support system I have then I really am being honest, I wouldn't be here. That's me being completely honest, I definitely wouldn't be here i have been to the lowest of my lows and i feel like i'm ready to pick back up and i know it's going to be a long and slow process but i feel like it's time to be more positive in getting better you know at one point i was like i'm never going to get out of this and i still feel like it's going to be a long winding road of me going through ups and downs but i feel so grateful to be in a better headspace. I'm not in an amazing headspace, but I'm in a better headspace than I was. And I just feel really grateful for you guys. But I also feel really, really heartbroken for so many people out there who don't have that level of support system. There are so many people out there suffering in silence and they don't have people around them that tell them that they love them. And I am so grateful for the way that you guys support me, but it also has made me feel so guilty to so many people who don't have that level of support. And that's why I'm doing everything I can to try and reach out to these charities and give as much as I physically can. I just want you to know that if you are in a bad place, then please, please don't feel like you're alone because we can think that what we're going through is the worst, but trust me, there are so many people in worse places than you. There are so many people that are in worse positions than what you feel right now. And I need to take my own advice that I'm giving to you guys right now. But I feel like me even getting in front of the camera has been such a difficult thing for me to do. And right now I'm actually sitting here and I feel like I'm in a better place than I was even yesterday or the day before. And... I've tried filming this video loads of different times but today it seemed like it was the right time to do it and I don't want my channel to be a negative place for you guys. I've always tried to be this positive, upbeat and outgoing person that I am just generally in my day to day life but there are also times when we feel low and I've had a negative 
month or two months and there's so much worse going on in the world i know that but i feel like i wanted to share with you a little touch of my reality and just wanting to show you that you're not alone and i also want to show you this journey because this journey is going to be from the rock bottom for me and I want to see where I can get to. I want to see with the right help and the right methods I'm taking, I want to see that I can get better and I can improve my life and improve my mental health. And then I also want to help you guys by doing that. You know, my motivation at the moment is the motivation you guys give me every day. And I feel like, I feel like I can do it. I feel like I can do it. I feel like I want to do it so badly. I want to be in a better place mentally because I want to show you guys that are suffering that you can do it, you know? I'm sorry, I just, I'm sorry, I just, it's just so overwhelming, That's, it's overwhelming, my headspace at the moment is overwhelming, and you might be like, why are you even picking up a camera then, and, and you know, I had a lot of people say to me, like, oh, I can't believe you filmed your panic attacks, but I filmed two panic attacks out of probably a hundred in the last two weeks, I've had them back to back to back, and I filmed two of them to show you that's where I was at and mental health can reach anyone. Mental health can come and creep up on you when you least expect it and it's something which shouldn't be a taboo subject and I think that we're talking about it more and more now but I wanted to show you the rawness of where I was at in my head and I was always going to get stick for that because people are like why would you film it but my life is putting stuff out there on online and I want to inspire people and I know that video wasn't the most inspirational but I want to show you that this journey can be inspirational I can get somewhere I know I can and I feel so much more positive even just speaking to you on the camera now I know it sounds crazy but filming videos is my passion my hobby as well as my job and without without you and without YouTube like I wouldn't have a purpose I don't feel I love creating content i love creating a family with you guys and without youtube that wouldn't be possible so for me i just want to get back into the swing of things and i know my videos aren't going to be as upbeat as they were before but please just bear with me please just join me on this journey and please just try and stay with me you know i'm not going to be the same person i was six months ago right now but hopefully i can get back there and i want to document that journey i want to show you that we can do this and I want to show you the ups and downs and yeah I don't really know what else I'm saying but it's basically just like a thanks because <laughs> you've saved my life like genuinely genuinely saved my life and I will always be grateful for that I will never, ever, ever stop telling you guys how much I love you, how grateful I am every day for you. And I'm also grateful for the people who put me in the lowest point of my life, for the people that have trolled me, for the online abusers, for the constant, constant hate. I'm grateful to you because you've made me appreciate everything in my, you've made me appreciate life. I didn't wanna live, I didn't want to live. And that's such a horrible thing to say but I feel like I appreciate life so much more now because you've made me see the bottom of it and how amazing my life was before it and I never wanna take anything for granted ever. I think you're making me become a better person. I feel like I'm becoming a better person every single day and I'm learning from every mistake I've ever made and I wanna be the best version of myself. I don't wanna be here in 10 years and still feel like I haven't improved on who I am. And I feel like you're helping me do that. And you've also helped me realise that so many people are suffering with anxiety, panic attacks, mental health. And I don't hate you. I don't hate anyone who hates me. Because I feel like people must be in a really dark place to send people so many hate messages. And... I think people must be in a really bad place to want someone else to die because even when I was at my lowest and didn't want to live I never wished that on anyone else but for other people that's their way of venting out their own demons and their own pain and I just want you to know if you're watching this and you hate me then that's fine but please don't hate yourself please whatever you do please try and work on yourself because you are the most important person in your life when your mental health goes and your health goes, you realise how important life is. And 
you deserve to live a happy life where you you feel loved and you don't feel lonely and you don't feel alone or low and i just hope that you get the right help for you guys and that's not me being patronizing being like oh if you've sent me hate then you're mentally unstable that's not me saying that in the slightest what i'm trying to say is if you are sending hate because it's a way of you venting your pain and anger and whether i bring out certain things that you hate and you think you hate me and it's a direct reflection of how you feel about yourself then please please even if there's two people watching this that feel that way then please seek help i'm going to leave everything in my description as usual and yeah i just i don't really know what else i'm saying but i just want to get back to being me i feel like it's time to pick myself up from this and realize that i can do this and right now it seems so far away it seems like it's so in the future but i feel like i am gonna get back to me and i want to get back to me i'm determined to get back to me because i completely lost myself i've completely lost myself i'm riddled with insecurities and i'm sat here with so much pain and i feel like a shell of myself at the moment i don't know who i am at the moment but i watch my old videos back and i'm like you can get back to you i know you can and honestly the strength in me is coming from you like you have no idea how grateful i am no you just i i never can even say in words how grateful i am ever in my life and a lot of people have messaged me saying that my videos have helped you in a dark time and that is the best thing in the world like the fact that i've helped anyone by being my cringy annoying self i just want to get back to that i just want I just want to get back to being me and uh, I feel like I can I feel like I can it's funny all the things you hate about yourself before you begin to love when you feel like you've lost it like I know I'm so cringy and over the top but I miss that because I just feel like I'm not that person at the moment but if anyone watching this just please know that we're all in this together especially in this climate at the moment like we need each other more than ever and i just i'm sorry for sharing such raw emotions but i know i'm not going to change the world but if i could help one person just see that you're not alone and that we can get through this and i can't wait to look back at this video in six months a week tomorrow i can't wait to look back at this video and think you, you, you're better than you were then, you know? It's all part of growth and it's all part of being who we are and I just feel so blessed. So blessed to be out of that really dark place. I'm still in a dark place, I'm not gonna lie. I'd be lying if I said that I'm, you know, really positive because I'm not, but I feel a little bit stronger than I did definitely feel a lot stronger than I did so yeah thank you for saving my life yeah I'm gonna leave the link to the hoodies in the description box because if you want to go and help this one's got like a pinky writing and this one's got like a gray writing I know they're probably really unattractive hoodies but they're my old merch from back in the day and I wanted to see if I could just do something and give back. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. I'm eternally grateful from the bottom of my quite broken heart at the moment. I don't feel like my heart's fully mended, but thank you. I can't say thank you without crying. <laughs> I'm so annoying. Okay, I'm gonna end that video there. Yeah. I love you so much. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. I love you so much. More than you can ever, ever imagine.